Re receiving the ACES, um, it's a great honour as well. It's, um, you know, the support that the Arts Council gave you, gives you as an artist practising within Northern Ireland is, is great. And it's, it is quite competitive and it's, um, it's quite a pre prestigious award to win as well, but it just basically means that you can develop your own practice. It takes the pressure off, I mean, in this economic climate, obviously, you know, it's, uh, it's hard enough getting work, never mind working as an artist. Um, but it also has given me the chance to develop my own community work, which also feeds into my practice. I mean, to me, they, they work hand in hand um, with my work being so narrative. Um, so it's, I'm quite honoured and um, I think the year, next year is going to be really exciting for me and uh, I hope I can do the Arts Council proud with the award. I'm, I'm basically going to be using it to work towards um, a show which will be my first kind of public show over here and um, it'll be 2015 so yeah, it's, it's good because it gives me the time just to focus on that. And well, I'm delighted to have been awarded the ASIS funding. Um, I applied as a curator and it, for me it means that I'll be able to undertake a lot of international travel, um, which is something that obviously um, is very important for kind of curatorial practice. But I'll also be working uh, with the MAC um, alongside the curatorial team there to support them while they organise the MAC International Exhibition, which um, is going to be a huge event um, and a very exciting thing to be involved with. So for me, it seem, it's a kind of a double whammy of being able to gain um, really valuable practical experience working alongside a, a very experienced team in delivering a huge project. But also I'll be able to visit um, Manifesta in St. Petersburg, um, Istanbul, Liverpool Biennale and a number of other um, events throughout the kind of, um, I suppose, the arts calendar.